Hello Windows Universe, in this video we will talk about if you can't unpin or remove program icons from the Windows taskbar. For a more in-depth look at the topic, we will link an article in the description down below. Now, as a note before we begin, these steps will work both in the Windows 10 and Windows 11 systems, so no worry. Let's start off by trying to restart Windows Explorer. Open the Task Manager and look for Windows Explorer. Right click on it and click on Restart. Once Explorer restarts, see if you're able to unpin the item you're after from the taskbar. You can also remove the program using the Start menu if you want to remove a program from your taskbar, but your taskbar is not responding properly, then you can try to unpin it using the Start menu. So let's click on the Start button then look for the app that you wish to unpin from the start menu, right click on it, and see if by choosing the option unpin from the taskbar, it works. Sometimes this problem occurs due to the system level corruption regarding that specific program. In that case, you need to uninstall the program, then delete the shortcut. Open the set settings, select apps, then scroll down until you find the app that you're after and click on the uninstall button. Once you uninstall the application successfully, the program will be removed from the taskbar automatically. You can then just reinstall the program. Now, if you did uninstall the program, but the program is still appearing pinned on the taskbar, click on the pinch icon. If there's no program associated with the icon, you should get a prompt asking you to delete the shortcut. Click on the yes button. And now, once again, install the application again and see if the problem is fixed. The taskbar has a folder that shows all the pinned apps and you can access the folder using the file explore. If you delete the app shortcut from the taskbar folder, it should get removed from the original taskbar as well. Press the Windows button and the R to open a run dialog box. We're going to type in percentage, app, data, percentage, slash, Microsoft slash Internet Explorer slash Quick Launch slash User Pinned slash Taskbar. Click on OK. Alternati alternatively, you can open the file explorer and go to C drive slash users slash whatever username slash app data slash roaming slash Microsoft slash Internet Explorer slash quick launch slash user pinned slash taskbar and then just delete this way. 
You can also delete the task bank key from the registry editor directly. Now, before you do this, it is recommended to back up the registry files and create a system restore point first. Once you've done that, open the registry editor and navigate to H key current user, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, Explorer, and Taskband. In the Taskband key, you will see several regd words and reg binary values on the right hand side. You need to right click on Taskband and select the delete option. If it asks you to confirm the deletion, confirm and after that, restart your computer and try to check to see if the ta problem is solved. If nothing else is working, you can reset the taskbar. Basically, you're combining two of the other suggestions we tried by running a bat file to delete the icon from the taskbar. To do so, you'll have to open Notepad. In the article, we have some syntax, copy this, paste, then click on save as, let's give it a name, make sure that you save it as a bat file, click on save, then Go to the, the file, double click on it to run the commands. All of the shortcut icons pinned on the taskbar get removed immediately, including the program that you were struggling with. Restart your system. Once the device starts up, pin the other programs back on the taskbar that you need to be there. However, if none of these work, you can always use the System Restore Point or Reset for Windows. To do that, type in Restore, click on System Restore, choose a Restore Point from before the time that you had the trouble with this particular icon. Follow any of the on-screen prompts to restore your computer to an earlier point. Now, the caveat with this is that any program or application that you installed after this restore point will have to be reinstalled. For more helpful articles to help you maximize your Windows experience, go to our website, thewindowsclub.com. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel where we are always adding new content aimed at making you the master of your digital house. Thanks for watching and have a great day.